So, in this unit, you've learned about almost all of the types of matter that make up God's created universe. You've learned about the pure types of matter anyway. Elements and compounds, which are all made up of one type of building block. Either one type of atom, one type of molecule, or one type of crystal. And those atoms can bond together in millions and millions of different ways to make up millions and millions of different types of matter, giving us a lot of variety in the universe. However, that's still not the whole story. Even though we already have a lot of variety, there's one more type of substance that we haven't talked about yet that adds to the variety in the universe, and that is a mixture. In this lesson, we're going to be learning about the two types of mixed matter that we observe in creation all around us. To understand mixed matter, first of all, let's take a look at exactly what mixed matter is compared to pure matter. And we're going to do that by looking back at the slide where we learned about pure matter. And it was these eight different substances that we sorted into different categories. And here's what's important about what mixed matter is compared to pure matter. Notice that the types of pure substances have just one type of building block, one type of molecule, one type of atom, or one type of crystal, the same throughout. Whereas the two types of mixed matter that we have pictured here have more than one building block. They have more than one type of unbonded atom or more than one type of molecule that isn't bonded together in a crystal lattice or more than one type of crystal. If there's more than one type of building block, you know that that's a picture of a mixed substance. In this case, I have two mixed substances. Let's take a look at each of those in just a little bit more detail. Nail polish remover is a type of mixed substance known as a homogeneous mixture. Another name for that is a solution. They mean the exact same thing. A homogeneous mixture or a solution has atoms, molecules, or crystal parts that are mixed together evenly. It's made up of more than one building block of matter, more than one type of atom, more than one type of molecule. It can have a crystal as a part of it, or it could be a mixture of more than one of those. It could be an atom mixed together with a molecule, or an atom mixed together with a crystal, or a molecule mixed together with a crystal. But the key is that they are mixed together perfectly evenly. This acetone nail polish remover is made up of acetone molecules that are mixed together evenly in a pattern in water molecules. You'll notice that homogeneous mixtures never have a crystal lattice in the background that's bonding everything together because if there was one crystal lattice that bonded everything together, it would be a crystal compound and not a homogeneous mixture. A heterogeneous mixture, on the other hand, is made up of different building blocks, except they're mixed unevenly. Here I have two different crystals of salt. Those crystals make up chunks that take up a fair amount of space each. And because I have different chunks, different areas that are different substances, it makes it a heterogeneous mixture. I have different areas where there are different substances. They're not mixed evenly throughout one another. When I have more than one crystal substance, they can never mix evenly with each other because crystals are repeating patterns that take up chunks of space. So if I have more than one crystal mixed together, it's always going to be a heterogeneous mixture. Let's take a look at some other examples to really draw this out and help us to make sense of what heterogeneous and homogeneous mixtures are. Here's another example of a homogeneous mixture, except this one does involve a crystal. It's just, it doesn't involve two crystals. Here we have 18 karat gold, or impure gold, that's alloyed together with another metal. Most 18 karat gold is alloyed together with copper. Here I have copper atoms that are perfectly mixed evenly in a gold crystal framework. Now I want you to notice something as you look very closely at this. Notice that the gold crystal lattice doesn't actually go through the copper as well. It doesn't bond everything together. 
the copper atoms are actually trapped within the gold crystal lattice. They're not bonded to the gold lattice, they're just trapped inside of it. And that's what makes this a mixture instead of a compound because the copper isn't actually attached, bonded to the gold. Instead, the copper is just mixed inside of it. And this is a homogeneous mixture because these two building blocks, the gold crystal and the copper atoms, these two building blocks are mixed together perfectly evenly. As you see, the copper makes a perfect pattern within the gold crystal framework. Another example of a heterogeneous mixture that involves crystals in a different way than before would be an imperfect colored diamond. Colored diamonds all have imperfections in them that give them their colors. And in this case, this yellow diamond has nitrogen as an imperfection. Now notice that nitrogen isn't perfectly spread throughout the network of bonded carbon atoms. There's just two atoms of nitrogen and they're sort of in random places. If a contaminant within a crystal doesn't spread itself evenly so you have a pattern within the crystal, it's a heterogeneous mixture because it's not evenly mixed. Here we have two types of building blocks, a crystal and an atom, but they are not evenly mixed together. Let's take a look at some more examples of each of these to really make sense of it. And we're going to start by looking at some more homogeneous substances, like this substance known as phosphoric acid, which is found in Coca-Cola. Phosphoric acid gets a lot of criticism because it's actually harmful to hard tissues in the human body like teeth. Now you'll notice that there are a lot of water molecules in this phosphoric acid. But within the water molecules, you have molecules of phosphate and little hydrogen atoms. You can see those tiny hydrogen atoms here and there, and they're completely evenly spread. Notice that there's the same number of water molecules in between each of the components and they all line up. The phosphates line up with where the hydrogens are. These are evenly spread and mixed together. Now you may wonder as you look at something that's arranged in a pattern like this, is this a crystal compound? It's not because there's no crystal lattice in the background that's pulling everything together and causing it to vibrate in a fixed place. These particles are still sliding past one another. They're just evenly spread out within one another, and that makes this a solution or homogeneous mixture. Different building blocks mixed evenly. Here we have lavender extract, where we have alcohol molecules, water molecules, and lavender contains a molecule known as linalool, which is the one that contains a lot of carbon. Notice that there's a pattern here. Alcohol molecule, linalool, alcohol, and then a row of waters. Alcohol, linalool, alcohol, row of waters. Because you see that pattern, you know that there's an even mixture here. Not a crystal, there's no crystal lattice in the background. That makes this a homogeneous mixture or solution because there's different building blocks, water, linalool, and alcohol, different molecules, but they're mixed together evenly. On the other hand, when you have substances that are mixed unevenly, made up of different building blocks, you have a heterogeneous mixture. This is clay crystals, that really complicated crystal on the left, mixed with limestone crystals on the right. Because these crystals are different and they're chunks of different substances mixed unevenly, it's a heterogeneous mixture. Another heterogeneous mixture would be something like sand in water. You have your silicon dioxide sand crystals and your water molecules in the same place. They are different building blocks. You have one crystal and one type of molecule, but they are mixed unevenly because you have this big chunk of silicon dioxide and this big area where there's water molecules because it's an uneven mixture of different building blocks. It's a heterogeneous mixture. Matter is mixed matter when you have more than one type of building block of matter in the same place. A heterogeneous mixture is mixed unevenly where you have different chunks of different substances in different areas or a random arrangement of where the different building blocks are. A homogeneous mixture or a solution occurs when the different building blocks spread evenly throughout one another and there's a pattern to how they spread out. 